Hello out there. God bless you, YouTube land. God bless you, Google Plus land. God bless you all. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. New prophecy from the throne room. New prophecy from the throne room. Prophecy on Illinois 2014. The God of Israel give this to me in Jesus Savior Messiah. February the 9th, 2014, in uh, 14 minutes. Here it is, right here, straight from the throne room, from the portals of heaven, his spiritual manner from heaven. For 60 years, I have lived in my dearly beloved state of Illinois, the land of Lincoln, which is the state of Illinois, is where I live and where I will die. The land of Lincoln has become the land of queers for the homosexual marriage law has passed. The windy city of Chicago has become the windy city of queers. The judgment of God of Israel has fallen on the state of Illinois for passing the homosexual marriage law. The state of Illinois has one of the highest tax rates in the USA. The state of Illinois is at the bottom of the barrel of the 50 states for fewest jobs created. The exodus of more people leaving Illinois for no man's land of jobs than people moving in the state. This is a sign at the bottom of the totem pole for the American dream, Illinois pension plans are broke and the people pension plans are being downsized by the robber bands. If Abraham Lincoln were alive today, his eyes wouldn't believe what has happened in Illinois. The land of Lincoln had become the land of stinking thinking. May the God of Israel have mercy on the state of Illinois. Straight from the throne room, his prophetic word, prophecy on Illinois, 2014. And I'm coming to God's holy Bible right now, his holy Bible, word of God. And uh, we're going to be in Genesis chapter 2, verses uh, 21 through 24. God's institution is man and woman when he started with Adam and Eve. It's not two uh, men getting married or two women getting married. That's the abomination of God. That's where he destroyed some of the Gomorrah of the homosexual lifestyle. So here's God's holy word. Genesis chapter 2, verse uh, 21 start, and we'll go to verse 24. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God has taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto man. You know, Adam's rib close to man's heart. You know what I mean? Right there, a man's got one less rib than a woman close to man's heart. You know, I love my wife, Betty. She's a, a Proverbs chapter 31 woman, a godly woman, my girlfriend, my lover, my soulmate, my wife. And you know, man, hold your wife. A woman, a wife deserves her husband. Hold. I love holding my wife, you know, in your arms. And when she lays her head right there on your heart, God took that with me. And always remember that woman is close to uh that wife to that husband's heart because that's why she left to lay her head on your heart because thank you, God, you did a miracle. You took man's uh, rib away to make that woman that helped make for us because it's not good for man to be alone. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Man was made first, you know. With order. God, man, woman. God has order. 
Therefore, here's the key verse here in uh, Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Listen closely. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. You know, don't let the father laws and mother laws destroy your marriage. When you leave your mom and dad, you know, when you're not married, that's when the Ten Commandments. Even when you're married, that's when the Ten Commandments. Honor thy mother and honor thy father. Have a long life on this earth. But when you get married, husband and wife, you work out your problems. Don't let the mother-in-laws or father-in-laws try to rule your marriage, you know. Make your marriage. God put you together. You know what I mean? But God's ordained, no man put a sender, you know. Don't let the marriage bed be defiled. So, uh, that's God's holy word today. But most important, you know, accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Turn your life over to Jesus. These are the last days. You know, I've been prophesying. Seem like God showed me a lot of dreams lately, 24-7. Get the word out, uh, prophetic word. I've been uh, uh, Jesus and God's prophet to the nation since 1988. That's been uh, 26 years. I'm 60 years old now. These are going to be the greatest times of my life. You know, we don't know when Jesus returns, but I don't know if we got five or ten years left. You know, only God knows, only Jesus knows. There's not much time left. But make your greatest decision. Let Jesus come in your heart today. Turn your life over to Jesus Christ. This is your hour. This is your destiny. This is your divine rendezvous. This is your appointed time. Say this prayer with me. I confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Repeat these words with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me my sins. Lord, thank you, Lord, I repent my wicked way. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for coming in my heart. I'm born again. My name's written in the last book of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You, eternal life, you saved my soul. At this moment, right now, when I'm confessing with my mouth and believing my heart, that Jesus, you saved my soul. Thank you. Today is the day of salvation. You said that prayer, right? George Kelly channel on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube, for putting this video on. And uh, my, my profile, I have my uh, email. Email me. We rejoice being Betty here and Lisa Brethren uh, Church Ministry here in Pinkville, Illinois. And uh, for God's glory, your greatest decision in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, except in Jesus. That will be your greatest decision in all your life. You know, and if you don't have a penny in your pocket, if you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you're born again, and today is your day of salvation, new Christians in Christ, all things pass away, you're a new Christian in Christ, all things become new, that you'll be the richest man and woman ever walked the face of earth. We love you. Have a good day. Be praying for George and Betty Kelly, at least the Brethren uh, Church here in Pignanville, Illinois. We'll be praying for you. Jesus loves you. Jesus returning soon. And Jesus is Lord. Have a good day. God bless you. Till the next video. May the God of Israel bless you from the north, south, east, and west. Hundredfold blessings, King Solomon blessings, Abraham blessings, Jehoshaphat blessings. The many blessings of God. Let God, uh, Israel, let Jesus, the Savior, Messiah, make you a spiritual millionaire. A spiritual riches. Riches in glory. Maybe you'll never be a financial millionaire. But let uh, God of Israel and Jesus, the Savior, Messiah, the world, make you a spiritual millionaire in Jesus' holy name. In Jesus' name's sake. God bless you. We love you. Have a good day.